Okay guys, in this video we're going to do an animated line. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is I've got my footage in here and now that I have my footage in here, we're gonna go ahead and track this information with the tracker. So again, if you do not have your tracker open, go to Window Tracker. Then when you're in Tracker, you're gonna to go to Track Motion and we're gonna just do, the track type is transform, and we're doing position, rotation, and scale. Then what we're gonna do is we've got our two tracker points here. I'm gonna fix these on two spots that I think will do well for tracking. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger for there. Not quite that big, about right there. And then I'm going to take this other tracker. If I hold down the space bar, my hand comes up and I can move to where I need to. So I'm going to click in the box, in the middle box, but not on the X because it'll move the X. And I'm going to track this piece here. So all the footage is doing, oh, and make sure when you do this that you're on the very first frame. Because if you're not, um, or at least where you want the tracking to start, then this will be off. So now that I've done that, everything looks good. I'm going to go up to Layer, New, and a Null Object. So now that I've got my Null Object, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Analyze Forward. And I'm just watching this to see if this slips. I don't want it to slip. It looks pretty good. So it's analyzed, everything looks good. I'm gonna click on Edit Target. It's going to pull up the layer null one, which is what I want the motion target applied to. So now it is, the target is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Apply, and it will ask dimensions X and Y. And now I have my null object, and I'm gonna be able to um, parent that to a solid that I'm going to do. So now that I don't have anything highlighted, I'm going to get the pen tool and I'm going to go ahead and choose a stroke. We'll go with like a bright yellow and then on the fill, I'm going to click on the fill right here and go to none and go ahead and close that out. The points are pretty big right now, but we'll fix that in a minute. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer so I can kind of see this whole piece right here. And I'm going to click on the corners roughly where the lot line would be. And that's pretty wide, so I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. And this is kind of looking like a little bit of an angle, and the line probably goes like that but I want it to look a little bit more square just for the video itself. So I'm adjusting everything like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and parent that shape layer to the null object. So if this is done correctly, when we analyze forward, it should stay pretty much there. So I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and it's staying there. So that looks good. We'll let it run through just for a second, but it doesn't look like it's shifting at all. So now the fun part is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to animate this. So the way we're gonna animate it is we're gonna to go to contents, shape, and we're gonna to go to stroke. And right here you can see um, the color and the opacity, all of that. We're gonna go ahead and do a round cap. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on dashes. I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus twice. When you do it twice, it adds the gap. If you click on it just once, it only has the dash and offset. But we also want the gap. So then now you can see it's, I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. You can see that it's already starting to uh, look light, look like dots. So we'll do maybe something like that. The wider 
the gap, then the more gap it is between, but I don't want it to be too wide. And again, you can kind of mess with how you want that to look. If you want it to look more square, if you want it to look roundish, I like the round look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the dash a little bigger. And then I'm also going to bring the stroke down just a little teeny bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, right now, if we just play this, it just stays still. So it's not actually, it's not actually moving. So what we want to do is we want to animate this to move. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and set a stopwatch or a keyframe. And then we're going to go to, let's say, the end of the clip, which is right there and we're going to offset that and we'll do that by quite a bit the the higher that it's offset the faster that it will move so we'll go ahead and see how fast it moves so that's pretty fast we'll let that render all the way through just for a minute and then we'll zoom out just so we can take a look at it but realistically i'm pretty happy with that so then now that that's in place you've animated a line you could if you wanted to, so we'll go, so let's just take a look at it. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So there you go. There's an animated line, so it's moving. And obviously, if you wanted to go, if that's too fast, then you could get on the keyframe here and you could bring the offset down and it would go, it would go slower. Okay. So that's how you do that. Now, the other thing that we could do if we wanted is we could put a fill in here. So maybe we do want a little bit of a fill. But as you can see, that fill is, you can't see anything. So maybe what we want to do is we want to take the fill and we want to, let's close that out. We want to lighten that up. Maybe it's just really, really light. So now you have, not only do you, you're offsetting it with a color, but you now also have the fill. And you can, you can change that to pretty much any color you want. Like a blue probably would go better with um, a yellow. But you could totally mess with it. And again, you can also put the opacity down more if you want that to be a different color. So there you go, guys. This is just a quick little video on how to, um, without using Mocha, but just using the tracker and a little bit of the shape layer to add some animation, you can add life to a quick little drone shot. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And remember, if you like what I'm putting out there, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up.